Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Today we're going to do a quick install on the GMC Sierra AT4. And it's something that I feel this manufacturer has overlooked on far too many current vehicles. Let's go. My friends, we are going to do a cheap Amazon install on my GMC Sierra AT4. We are going to add some underhood lighting because for some reason or another, several manufacturers just aren't offering that anymore. Back in the 90s, I had an incandescent bulb under the hood. I could take care of checking my oil, topping up fluids, looking for a burnt fuse. You know, back then, some of the uh, vehicles that I owned were pretty janky. So, you know, maybe a wire came loose and I had to reconnect it for my big stereo system. Whatever it was, there was still a little bit of light that gave me something so I could see what was going on under the hood when it was dark outside. GM in this case has given us nothing. So I got this cheap under $20 LED strip. We're gonna find somewhere under the hood to place it. We're gonna wire it up. We're gonna see what it looks like tonight when it gets dark. And maybe it's a little project you wanna try. So let's go. Okay, so we're gonna be installing this rather inexpensive LED strip off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's a little over a foot long, comes with a positive and negative wire, and it has a hood pin. So when the hood's down and it pushes on this button, it interrupts the circuit, and then that way the light won't be on. When the hood's up, it completes the circuit, and the light will come on. So I'm thinking that we're going to put it up here in the middle of the hood. The problem is there's this seal right here from where the air inlets are, and we don't want to have the light in the way of the seal. So I think the seal, comes right there, so we'll put this just in behind it. I don't really see another spot where we could put this that it would make sense. I could put it way over there, but the light would probably just shine more in my face than, than down below, so I think that right there should be pretty good. We're gonna try that anyway. So we'll clean this up nice. We'll tuck these wires in behind the sound deadening over to that corner, come down near where the hinge is, and then we'll figure out where we're gonna put this hood pin. There's a nice little hole here, but I don't think that one will work. We'll find a spot for it anyway. Uh, might have to go right here. I'm hoping that I don't have to drill a hole, but if we have to, not the end of the world. I might not be giving GMC enough credit here. They actually went ahead and left a perfect cutout for a hood pin to go right here. So when the hood comes down, just a little bit of a depression here and it will interrupt the circuit and shut that light off. So this is where we're gonna put the hood pin, no drilling required. All right, it works. Our under $20 investment so far looks to be paying off and I haven't even really used it yet. Anyway, we're just gonna clean up this wiring a little bit. Got some cable ties that came with the light. I have a little bit of wire loom. I just wanna make it look a little nicer as I follow the hinge down here. Just a little more professional because that's my style. And then we're gonna run this positive lead to one of the battery terminals underneath this cover. And then we'll wait for nighttime and we'll show you the before and the after.
All right, everything's together. I'm pretty happy with the look considering it's just a cheap add-on and it works. So let's just wait for nightfall and we'll check it out. Okay, it's dark outside. We're about to test this out in complete darkness. So we'll be able to see how much light it actually adds under the hood. So let's turn the lights off. And three, two, one. Look at that. It is so much brighter. I could be doing activities out here to the wee hours of the morning and don't need to use the flashlight on my phone. I could use both hands on things. I could easily check the oil level, check my fluids, look at a burnt out fuse if I happen to have one, you know, that kind of thing. So I don't know why this isn't included to begin with, but I'm glad I installed it and it was under 20 bucks. I'm just gonna show you that it does turn off when the hood comes down far enough. Well, there you go. If you like today's video, even better, if you don't want your mother-in-law to live with you, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.